This week, I challenged myself to make a dramatic movie trailer, but here's the catch. I didn't film anything. I only used stock footage and some editing tricks. So this is what most stock footage looks like. It's very neutral. The real challenge is to use editing and music to try and transform it into something completely different. Let's watch the 60 second trailer and then we'll break it down. The floods, they come every year. We've got used to that. But this time, something has changed. Now I should start by saying that of course there are tons of different ways to make trailers and they don't all need to have fades to black and this sound. But even so, there are still plenty of things we can learn from the cliche trailers. Now how do we decide which shots make it into the trailer? For me that meant looking through thousands of stock footage clips. There are plenty of nice landscapes and people smiling, but if we're trying to captivate an audience we probably need some conflict. So these shots I found introduced some destruction, some danger, a bit of excitement. So I took that and ran with it, finding plenty of other water related shots as if this was a trailer for a film inspired by Jaws. But the audience probably won't care about conflict unless it's tied down to some people. So it's probably worth introducing our characters. So once we've got our timeline full of potential trailer shots, I can't help but do a quick color grade. For this, I increased the contrast plenty darkened most of the shots and cooled them off a bit. Here are some before and afters. Now in most trailers, the music and the editing go hand in hand. So I actually did the music first, using it as a backbone for the pacing of the edits, but also the mood of each section. It starts out fairly positive, just a really simple little piano melody, which pairs with our establishing wide shot and two others that we've connected in a simple sequence of events. There's a boat, the divers jump from the boat, and then they go swimming. Everything's fine until we hear this sound. Now, every single sound in the trailer, except for like the piano, obviously, were from free Creative Commons recordings. I typed in metal scrape and found tons of great stuff, like this sound. which I then separated by completely taking out the low end of the scrape sound and boosting the bass on the impact sound as the door closes. We can combine it with our divers to change the mood. But just using scary music over perfectly innocent visuals seems a bit lazy. So looking at the footage, there's a part where the diver looks over his shoulder. Now that is something we can work with. What has he seen behind him? A shark? Is someone hurt? Let's cut before the audience has a chance to see what's behind him and pair it with that change in the music. Now the music is more supporting the emotion rather than creating the emotion. After that, the music takes a back seat, just a long bass note and repeating piano that sounds kind of ominous. Meanwhile, we can give some context, introducing our characters and some of the disaster movie type shots. But so far, we've only really hinted at conflict. We probably need something to raise the stakes. So I found this shot that's classic Happy Holiday style footage, really not the kind of mood I'm looking for. But if we take this bit at the end and reverse it, just showing a very short clip, it kind of looks like this guy is getting slowly sucked underwater. Now, obviously, if this was a real movie, we'd probably need to do a much better job on the effect. 
But the point is that we've changed the mood again. Everything was fine at the start, then we got a little apprehensive, and now things are definitely dangerous. It's another turning point in the mood. So for the music, I took a really simple bass line and added tons of distortion to it, and then had the volume increase over time. We started with this and ended up with this. So that can lead us into a high energy montage, which is very common in trailers. If we had a shot of an explosion, we'd be tempted to include it right here. Now to go with the montage, I found some weird metallic scraping sounds, slowed them down a bunch and chucked on a whole load of reverb. So they sounded like that classic horror music ambience. Underneath that was a more rhythmic bass line to give us more energy and now more frequent impact sounds, but this time reversed. Now we've been gradually increasing the tension, but rather than just kind of climbing up to our ending, why not first bring it all the way back down? So I silenced the music and used a kind of mysterious shot of divers going into a dark cave for a bit of anticipation. It's a very common little trick really to have your loudest point right after your quietest point. So every single shot in this teaser trailer came from Pond5's new membership library, which is the sponsor of this episode. They have a few different plans that give you monthly downloads as well as 10% off the rest of their library. But in the description of this video, there's a link to where you can download all of the stock footage in this episode, plus plenty of extras, completely for free, no credit card required. There are 50 clips in total that you can use for any project, including making your own trailer if you want the challenge. Now, I have to say, it was much harder than I thought it would be, but that's exactly why it was such a valuable exercise. My name's Simon Cade, this has been DSLR Guide, and I'll see you next week.